today i am going to show like how we can just create a simple ecs cluster and simple ecs cluster based on ec2 so uh, ecs cluster is basically a cluster that has compute power and we can create this cluster either by using fargate or by using ec2s underneath so we will just create a very very simple cluster that will just uh, run ngINX uh, docker images on the EC2 box and uh, just to set up uh, just to make this setup a more clear like uh, how you can uh, start creating these clusters and start using it so let's quickly start so I will just uh, create this cluster by using the new uh, new console uh, because it's a bit easy to create cluster by using console though it has some issues also that I will talk so let me first start so this is my test cluster and uh, uh, networking uh, I will choose the default VPC and the default subnets that are already selected uh, but maybe if you are working with some organization you may have uh, a choice of different VPC environments so you can choose accordingly so uh, rest I will I will try to keep majority of the things uh, as unchanged uh, or optional so over here in infrastructure we need to choose uh, EC2 because we are going to uh, create this cluster using the EC2 instances so for EC2 it will ask whether you want to choose an auto scaling group that is already created this is very important because whenever we are creating the EC2 cluster an auto scaling group is a must it is required basically like to define the configuration to make that EC2 uh, cluster scalable so I I am choosing uh, that uh, new uh, I will create a new auto scaling group for automatically for this uh, for this video and the operating system Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance type I will choose micro and uh, desired capacity I am starting with minimum and I am just keeping maximum to be 2 so this is another important parameter that is SSH key pair so it just basically lets you SSH your EC2 instances so that's the main advantage that we get over Fargate instances that uh, we have actually more control on the EC2 boxes and uh, we have option to SSH them by using key pair so you can choose the key pair if you have any for this video I'm not choosing just uh, uh, letting that I will not be SSH the, the EC2 instance so I will leave it as is for the monitoring I will not enable anything tags I will not add, add any tags I will just create the cluster so when I create this cluster it will uh, create it will launch the EC2 instances so the thing is that uh, maybe this is actually my uh, admin account so with admin account actually I have all the privileges so it is able to launch the instance but in your organization maybe when you are trying to create this cluster you may face uh, issues on this screen the moment you will click create it may show a error like permission issues etc so for that actually you need to uh, check the error message and uh, you might need to uh, like uh, uh, increase the permissions in the account which you are using uh, for, by using which account you are logged in and you are trying to create this cluster so let me refresh this so this is it's still creating it's showing so let me go to the EC2 dashboard because on EC2 dashboard uh, it should create some uh, EC it should start creating some instances let me remove this filter so okay so you can see on my screen that it is trying to launch one instance and this instance is in pending state so let me uh, let's check the configurations of this instance so you can see that on the tags a little description you can see that it is a part of the ECS cluster my test this is the cluster that we just created so you can see that this instance was launched by that cluster and uh, some more things to note is that uh, you must be wondering that this why this uh, 
this cluster is created with this instance role I am profile so actually when we are uh, creating this cluster directly using ECS console then actually it will uh, set some many things by default like IAM role and uh, the image uh, image type etc etc so if you want I, I in my uh, coming videos I will show how uh, we can ch config make these all these things configurable uh, while we are trying to launch these instances using the cluster so as of now uh, let's see if this it, it it is ready to be used so it is just uh, status checks are uh, uh, working in the background uh, or like this instance is still not ready to be used so uh, let's go meanwhile let's go back to the cluster and try to add services to, to it so this is just a basic cluster so on the new screen if you go to the infrastructure here you will be able to see how much capacity you have so you can see that uh, this uh, it is trying to launch uh, one EC2 instance is available in the infrastructure tab which means that uh, there is one EC2 instance associated with this cluster and if we are going to launch any task or containers it will be launched successfully using this EC2 box so let me go to the services section and let's start creating the service so if I create this service let me go to the service and start creating it then it's just a simple service uh, with the uh, which is a part of this uh, uh, cluster so I can just uh, it is okay let me see if I can create service okay so I will use the launch type uh, EC2 because I am going to run the service by using EC2 and I will need to choose a task like which task I am going to use oh okay this not task uh, this will remain service only because uh, task is that uh, I need to launch as a standalone task that runs and terminates it's like it's more of a batch job processing but no I will keep uh, I will use the defaults that is service only over here I have to choose the task definition as uh, which task definition will be used so I will just uh, uh, choose this task that is already created that is uh, my nginx task so actually this task is very important and uh, for the first time if you are trying to create this task will not be visible and without this ta task you will not be able to launch a service so let me first go to the task definition and launch in create a new task for you uh, so that you learn like how we can create new task like example task so I will just create a new task I will give my test task to uh, over here I will okay one more thing actually I would like to highlight is that you must create this task by using the old console not the new console because a new ta new uh, new console is providing less options uh, for the task creation due to which we are also facing trouble in launching these tasks so I will use old CLI basically to create this new task because it gives me an option very clearly like where I want to launch this task I would like to launch this on EC2 box next step so I will just give a name my test task to uh, I will I will I will not choose any role I will keep keep use the defaults network mode also default task execution role I will choose uh, uh, none uh, it's just default memory I know that I will I am running uh, ng nginx server and for that I would need 512 and uh, cpu 256 so I will now add a container 
and inside the container I will give the name ngi nx image is ngi nx latest that it will fetch from public repositories latest image port mapping is important because uh, uh, ngi-nx image when it will run as a docker image inside a container then it will po uh, expose this port container port 80 tcp rest i will keep everything default i will choose essential that means this this container is essential otherwise this deployment will fail i will not change anything i will just try uh, enable logging so that in case anything goes wrong i have some logs to troubleshoot and i will just simply add it and i will not add any tags here i will just create so this task is created and now I will go back to the instance refresh it just show you that my instance is ready and it is ready to be used let's again go back to clusters now let's switch to the new UI console and now I will go to the cluster I will create a service here by using launch type uh, okay yeah, launch type on type ec2 service I will choose the test task 2 that I just created it has just one version service name you can choose test rest is uh, the, uh, we don't want to change anything uh, rest are defaults load balancers we don't we are not adding as of now though they are very useful or, or like a mandatory when you are creating this kind of cluster auto scaling is also a feature that we basically use whenever we are creating this cluster so i will just create with the defaults and let's wait for this service to launch task and this it is it has launched the task and this task will be deployed on my infrastructure and my infrastructure is basically this ec2 box so over here on this screen we can uh, just keep on uh, like we can refresh and see the correct status until it starts running so let me try to see if i am able to uh, if I am able to able to access this service so for that I have to go to instance and on my instance let me check what is the public IP address of this instance so this is the public IP address and if on my browser I go and HTTP simple simply HTTP in my browser using this IP address so you can see that it is showing welcome to I, uh, ng annex okay. you might not be able to see my browser that's um, shadowed on the screen but you just have to simply go on the chrome browser and just uh, uh, just paste this IP address and on port 80 uh, when you press enter you will able to see this message it means that you are you have successfully launched your ec2 cluster with a very simple task one thing that you might face uh, is that uh, when you are launching this instance there is a security group attached to it and this security group is uh, default uh, and uh, uh, this security group actually might not have permissions to uh, access on port 8080 so what you can do is you can just edit this security group and especially the inbound rules and on inbound rules you have to allow port 80 uh, just if you are just for the testing purpose you can uh, allow all IP addresses and then all IP addresses will be able to will have access on port 80 on this machine 
like I have like you can see on my screen I have allowed uh, port 80 for everyone and port 22 only for my uh, IP address so for the outbound ru rule everything should be allowed so uh, you if you face any uh, access issue after doing this configuration you can just uh, simply make changes in the security group that might be creating trouble so okay i think that's all for this uh, lecture